So in this particular video, what we're going to do is we are going to, you know, I'm going to show you how to create custom domain. So if you come to the dashboard from Europe, you would need to go to the setting button, click on the custom domain. It says manage your custom domain. Now you would need to add a custom domain. However, before adding a custom domain, you would need to go to Cloudflare and since I am using Cloudflare, because Cloudflare provides me free SSL, and that's the reason we suggest using Cloudflare. It's one of the best websites that we can use to get our information. So what I need to do is I need to go to Cloudflare, click on DNS, add a record. Once I click on add a record, I would need to select a type that would be a C name and you would need to give a name to it. Now, for example, I'm going to go ahead and put Chris test and then I come to the target. In the target, I would need to put C name dot L N K W dot C O. Now, why do I have to select lnkw.co because lnkw.co is a default domain for link wizard and that's the only reason when you map your domain with our link wizard platform you would need to use cname lnkw.co and then you would need to go ahead and save this once this information has been saved i would need to go back to my link wizard platform and add a custom domain and I'm going to put the custom domain that I had given, chrisdest.botlnk.co. So once I have done this, I have two options right below that. First says, check to enter a redirect link, which is optional, and then check to enter a 404 link that is also optional. Now, redirect link, in case you don't have any link assigned or created in your link visit page or platform, you will be automatically redirected to that link visit platform. However, if you add a redirect link, you will be redirected to that particular link that has been added by you. So, for example, I will just go ahead and put a link let's say youtube.com and remember the 404 link in case you create any particular link with custom domain and you have shared that link with your contacts post that if you have deleted that link because you don't need it any longer that short link once if had if it has been deleted from your link visit platform and anyone who clicks on that link they would be redirected to the 404 link however you can go ahead and you can add a page out here you can add a link out here so that they will be redirected to the link that you have added and they would not be getting that error link of 404 so without adding that I will add this custom domain Once I add the custom domain, I would need to go ahead and create a shortened link. Now out here, I'm just going to go ahead and put something common that will be, let's say, facebook.com. I will come to the second option and I will click on the arrow out here. Now if you remember, this is the you know, this is the one that we had created just now, chrisdes.botlnk.co. So I would select that and I will go ahead and create this short link. Once I have created this short link, I would go back to the dashboard and I will just go ahead and open this link. Post my redirection page, redirection time. It's going to take me to the Facebook link that I had provided. Now, as you saw, it redirects to the link that we have given. 
Now, what happens if I just go ahead and delete this? Let's say I don't need this link. So I would go ahead and you can also see the number of clicks. It increased. There was zero in the beginning. And once we had clicked on the redirect link, once we went to the custom domain, it shows one click and total is one. And you would get all the details out here, the browser, referring channel, platform, redirect and block ratio and total number of clicks and from where you had bought the clicks. Now let me just go ahead and copy this first and then I'll delete this link. Now what happens if I try to open this link because I have just deleted that link? Oops, that is what I was talking about. 404 seems like you were lost. Either this page is missing or you assembled the link incorrectly. So let's go home. No, we are not going to go home right now. What we're going to do is, in case you have provided any redirect links in the options of 404 link, then it would redirect you to that particular link. Or if the link, the custom domain is not working for you any longer, you have deleted. So it will just go ahead and show you this 404 error, the 404 page link. So if you have redirected your link to YouTube, it will open YouTube for you. Okay, I'm just going to show you. You need to put the link that was created. So this was the link that I went ahead and I created. And I just need to click on enter. So once I click on enter, you can see we had given YouTube for the redirection and it's just going to work. However, that particular link that you have already deleted, that would not be working. So this link that we had created would work for us in custom domain. And then I can go ahead and I can edit this at any given point of time if I want to edit or if I at all want, you can see this has been edited. Now, if I want to go ahead and edit this with the 404 link as well, I can put that. Or if I want to give another redirection page, I can do that. Or if I want to remove the redirection, I can do that. Once I remove the redirection page, it will show blank for me out there. However, this particular link that we had created would take me straight to Link Wizard because we do not have any redirection page or URL added. In the platform that we were trying to create a custom domain with and also remember you can anytime go ahead and you can delete the domain from the you know manage your custom domain page and like you edited earlier you can edit this time as well and for a for link if you enter any page out here or any URL out here and you do not have the original link added out there then your 404 link will not be coming when your client, your customer, your lead, or any of your contacts try to click on that particular link. It will be redirected to Facebook, Google, YouTube, the link that you provide under a not found 404 page link. So this is all about custom domain. In case you have any questions about this, you can always get back to your support team. Thank you so much. I will explain about the other features in the upcoming video.